What's good, Kimba? Hey, Kimba! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button so you know every time I post a video, I'm gonna give y'all a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is, um, basically show y'all how I blunt cut. Well, I'm not gonna be doing the blunt cut. Um, my friend is actually gonna be doing the blunt cut for me, but I'm gonna show you guys how to blunt cut and dye your hair. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal High Color. Um, one is Sizzling Copper, and the other one is Red Fire. So hopefully it comes out how I want it to come out. I just want kind of like a fall looking color or whatever. And um, this is what I'm going to use. Your girl, I'm not an expert, so um, we just going to do what it do. I got some gloves, you know, pink, you know what I'm saying? Then I got the little pink bow. No, I said. And then I got this 40 volume developer. And with these, we going to make some shape. Okay, so hello everyone. I'm going to be doing the voiceover for some of the video. And in this part, Naj is going to be cutting my hair. I want it shorter length because that's how I want it. And right now she's just putting the hair in a ponytail. This is the method that we're gonna use to cut the hair. Hopefully it worked, me being crazy. But um, yeah, so that's what's gonna happen. Yes, yeah, she got the scissors, snip, snip. And um, she's basically cutting. I don't know why I'm looking like that because um, it's not my real hair. So there's the hair and here's the cut is cute i like it okay she gotta you know straighten it up a bit but once she straightened it up it looks really good so i'm gonna stop talking and y'all can just look at the rest of the video Okay, so I'm back with the bob that she cut. Oh wait, I'm all in the video. <laughs> I look like a I brought my leg. Okay, y'all. I'm feeling this bob. Feeling the bob. Okay, step one complete. Now time for the dyeing process. I'm excited. So we in the dyeing process. Alright, guest star. Nosh. <laughs> So we have these opening colors, right? Yes. Okay. So first we're just gonna open the box and you're gonna squeeze the whole tube in there. Okay. So we got both since I am doing copper, we have the copper intensifiers with the permanent hair color cream. We're just gonna add all that up in there. So okay. first we're gonna put the cream in and we're just gonna pop the hole. Pop the hole. How you pop the hole like that? The top of the you gotta flip the oh. No, Kennedy. Huh? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Y'all make sure y'all open up a, a <laughs> vent or put on a fan. Oh, these gloves are cute. They got aloe vera in them. 
Wow, fancy. <laughs> so, y'all want to know, this is Salon Care Pink Pearl Gloves with Aloe Vera. I got this from Sally's. All this stuff I got from Sally's. developer yes we're gonna add the developer and do you know how much we're gonna put in um just to eyeball it just so because this is gonna be thick so you want it, uh like a nice a nice texture like um it's not um uh, too thick it's kind of like coming off the spoon this is kind of how you want it before you color your hair okay so now we're actually applying the dye to the hair i know the dye looks like really bright orange but as you see later in the video the color does turn to a more darker color um that i wanted it to and we're just starting at the end and we work our way up to the root. Um, it was not a hard process at all. Um, Naj did the coloring, of course. Um, as you see, the first section was pretty big, but all the dye got through the hair thoroughly. So um, as you see how she parted it, it wasn't a big section at all. She just made sure that she got through all the hair. And this is the finished product of all the dye on the hair right now we're just trying to get rid of all the harsh lines um, just to make sure that the dye comes out evenly in the hair and i think you guys see what i'm talking about now like the color is way darker now but this is the flip side the back side um of the hair we had to make sure that we got thoroughly in this um, i did not want my roots to be dyed so that is why i'm leaving the black i kind of wanted a gradual color from black to the color that i want the fall color that i want make sure to get the ends and please please be careful not to get it on your lace sweetheart because we definitely don't want no orange lace the 40 minutes were up I just made sure that the dye got thoroughly through the hair and I immediately went ahead and washed it out um, making sure that I got all the excess dye out the hair before I shampooed or did any of that and you will see um, me shampooing and conditioning and I left the conditioner on so um, I don't show you that I wash it out but that is all that I'm doing right now and I will come back once I have the wig pressed, laid, all that. Once I got done washing it um, out with the shampoo, I went in with my conditioner. I let it sit for a day. 
and, and then I washed it out, blow dried it. I used my cheese silk infusion on this hair and then I blow dried it and then I flat ironed it. And here it is, the final result. This is how I'm going to wear my hair for my birthday. I am going to do a get ready with me um for my birthday so i can show you guys how you know you secure your lace front um and um i really like the cut um i appreciate naj for doing the cut for me because you know the girl slayed it i'm gonna do a little 360 for y'all one more time because it's needed Pop out with the fit, got the shoes on, my hair laid. I ain't gonna be able to tell me nothing, okay? Nothing at all. I really am liking this color, okay? So let's talk about this color. The color I was going for, I don't know. I just know I wanted a fall color, and I thought I wanted a light color, but the outfit that I got, I think this will be a better look for it because like my outfit kind of dark and like the color kind of dark so it's going to you know match up what I got what I got on so I'm thinking that this is going to match better with it this kind of looks kind of brownish from the camera but it's not brown it's like a reddish color okay now it looks red but um yeah this is the color guys it looks really good really really good and I used developer and some dye, and we made some shake. And you know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, y'all. I'm really feeling myself, and I really enjoyed this process, by the way. Um, so basically, what I'm trying to say is, even if you don't know what you're doing, it's still gonna come out great. So. Just do a little test runs or whatever because I had no idea what I was doing. Um, and make sure you have friends there to help you because, um, Chad, if I were to do this myself, my blunt cut would be looking like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay, but okay, I'm, I'm done talking to y'all for real. Um, I hope y'all have a good night. Or good morning or good afternoon whenever you watching this um don't hesitate like that like button if you found this enjoyable you know what i'm saying your girl got a little cold so make sure you out here you know drinking your orange juice keeping your immune system up because um we ain't trying to be sick around here and um peace love and happiness bye kim bugs